What is going on everybody? Got a quick video for you here. This video is for all the new and returning players to the division. In particular, we have a lot of Destiny refugees and a lot of new guys that are just picking up the game for the first time. Welcome to the game. Welcome to the community. But there are a few things that all of you need to know when it comes to gear. Now, this is an end game conversation. So if you're still leveling through the story mission, this is not for you. Come back and see us when you hit level 30 and this will all make sense to you. That being said, with the introduction of the optimization station in 1.8, armor became a stat value that contributes to the overall gear score on gear items. Since armor is a completely shit stat, it's tainted the gear score value on gear as a whole. The system works when it comes to weapons, but it's just plain silly when it comes to gear. Yep, I said it, armor is a completely worthless stat as a grading value when it comes to gear, but we'll come back to that. I'll explain what I mean by that. Now understand this video is not about armor. This video is about sorting gear and separating good gear from bad gear. In this video, I'm just gonna cover gear, but my plan is to also cover weapons along with gear mods and weapon mods, but I'll do it in a separate video just to keep things as simple as possible. So let's start with a scenario. You're running through the DZ, the LZ, whatever, killing shit and a gear item drops for you. Since the top gear in the game is classifieds, I will be referring to all gear sorting in terms of classified gear by means of inspection, recalibration, and optimization. This means you're going to be hearing me refer to the main stats going to 1401 and saying that you can roll each item twice. That's something you can only do on classifieds, so I'm only speaking in terms of classifieds. Apply this to normal gear and exotic gear as best you can. Now I know some of us don't have full classified sets yet, but this video will address what to do when you finally get that first piece or you finally get that last piece that you need. So gear item drops, you pick it up, you look at it. After you see what gear item it is, please ignore the armor stat and the gear score just for a minute. Your eye should immediately go to the main stats to see whether they're firearms, stamina, or electronics. Then you want to check the major and minor attributes. The majors and the minors that you want to see all depend upon what you are building and how you plan on using it. This means, are you a PvE player or are you a PvP player? That's because you can use a PvP build in PvE, but you should never use a PvE build in PvP. So knowing what you are building helps when looking at gear stats. So let's quickly go over the best in slot items for both PvE and PvP. Starting off on the chest piece, for PvE, you want health, skill haste, or enemy armor damage, ammo capacity, or kill XP. Health is by far a requirement on the chest as there simply is nothing that outclasses that stat. Unless you are making a niche build and actively choose to not have health on your chest, make sure your chest piece always has health on it. Kill XP is a very good stat in PvE because it's easy to farm proficiency caches and proficiency caches are a quick way to get classifieds and exotics. For PvP, you want health on the chest, skill haste, exotic damage resilience, and ammo capacity. On the backpack, for PvE, we're looking for health or skill power, ammo capacity, kill XP, or burn. For PvP, we want health or skill power, ammo capacity, burn, or disrupt. On the mask, for PvE, we want enemy armor damage or skill power, damage to elites or burn. For PvP, we want crit chance or skill power and burn. On the gloves, for PvE, you want weapon damage, crit or enemy armor damage or skill haste. For PvP, you want weapon damage, crit or skill haste. On the knees, for PvE, you want health or skill power, damage to elites, burn, shock or kill XP. For PvP, you want health or skill power, burn, shock, bleed or disrupt. On the holster, for both PvE and PvP, you want skill haste or crit. So that's the best in slot items for gear. So how do we apply this to sorting gear? Well, if you pick up an item and it has the right stats, you keep it. No question, you keep it. But here is my method for sorting good gear and getting trash gear out of your stash and out of your inventory. Step one, inspection. If the gear piece doesn't have the right majors and minors and it can't be re-rolled to have the right majors and minors, it's trash. Even if it has high armor and a max gear score, it's trash. Don't waste your time, it's trash. If it passed the first step, then you move on to the second step. Step two, recalibration. 
Can you recalibrate that item and make it good? Can you roll on the right best in slot stat so that you can use that gear item in a decent build? This means the main stats will be in the correct column, the majors and minors will be the correct majors and minors for that gear piece so that you can properly put a build together the right way. If it passed this step, then you keep it. Step three, optimization. This is the final step, and this only applies to classified gear. Can you take your two rolls and fix the majors and minors, then pump div tech into that piece to make it viable? Now keep in mind, this is open heart surgery, so think hard. If it's not worth it, then that piece is trash. This is something you do when you absolutely need an item and there's no other option, so you have to save it. If this doesn't apply to this item, then this item is trash. So let's review. Gear item drops. Let's say it's some gloves because gloves are hard to get right and easy to get wrong. They're striker gloves with an electronics roll, enemy armor damage, health on kill, assault rifle damage. Step one, inspection. These gloves are shit. The only thing best in slot is assault rifle damage. And this is striker so that electronics roll is a grand fuck you from RNG. In its current state, this item is trash, but let's see if we can save it because we need it. Step two, Recalibration. We get two rolls because this is a classified item. We're going to keep assault rifle damage because it's best in slot. We have to re-roll the electronics to stamina or firearms. Let's go stamina and make a 9k build. We now have one roll left. We are PvE players, so we'll keep enemy armor damage and re-roll health on kill for either skill haste, crit chance, or crit damage. Or we can keep health on kill, depending on our playstyle. Congratulations, you just saved this item from the trash heap. And now it's a best in slot piece for a PVE build. Now same scenario, but this time we are PVP players. Item drops, striker gloves, electronics roll, enemy armor damage, health on kill, assault rifle damage. Step one, inspection. First off, this is steam rolled trash. And clearly RN Jesus hates us, but okay, let's try to make this work. Step two, recalibration. Again, we get two rolls because this is a classified item. We're going to keep assault rifle damage because it's best in slot. We will have to re-roll the electronics to stamina or firearms. Let's go firearms and make a 6-6 six, six striker build. That leaves us with one more roll and we have to re-roll enemy armor damage for skill haste, crit chance, or crit damage because enemy armor damage doesn't work in PvP. But that means we're now stuck with health on kill, which means this piece is pretty much trash in PvP. It'll work till you can farm another piece, but it's definitely not how you want to run your build. Let's do one more and this time it's a knee pad. Let's do this for both PvE and PvP at the same time. Item drops, it's Predator, Stamina Roll, Enemy Armor Damage, Burn, Kill XP, Shock. Let's go. Step 1, Inspection. It's Pred and it already has a Stamina Roll. That's a plus, but it's a low roll. This thing maxes out at 1401. Step 2, Recalibration. For PvE players, it has enemy armor damage, but enemy armor damage is not best in slot on the knees, so you have to re-roll it to health. And we want damage to elites, so let's re-roll shock and keep kill XP, because that's a good stat in PvE. For PvP, we also want to re-roll enemy armor damage to health, and we want to re-roll kill XP to bleed or disrupt. So now we have the right majors and minors for both PvE and PvP, but we still have a low stamina roll. Step 3. Optimization. Now it's time to do some open heart surgery because we want these pieces. We're going to keep them and we're going to pump div tech into them until we get to 1401. Now you can keep going after that if armor is your thing, but like I said before, armor does very little to add to your overall survivability. In fact, since the stamina buff, armor is now the shittiest stat in the game. So every time I hear someone say an item has high armor, I cringe with sadness. It took 20 bullets to kill us with or without max armor before the stamina buff. And now it takes about 35, if that. Armor only reduces about 5% of your incoming damage. So please don't stress about armor. You can choose to agree or disagree with me about armor, but the main fact is do not get caught up in armor rolls and gear score when inspecting your gear. So in conclusion, that's how I inspect gear and quickly separate the good from the bad so that my inventory and my stash is not cluttered with trash gear, which will eventually lead to me putting together trash builds. I hope you found this video helpful. 
Thank you for watching. Take care, everybody.